What up, YouTube? Big Lou, Big Lou's Coach Review back again with another review, and today we're here to do a little review on the Cosmonaut RDA. This is a collaboration RDA that was made by District 5, the makers of the Summer Cap and the Cupcake and the Chubby. They make all those cool drip tips, those wideboard drip tips that fit on top of majority of RDAs today and they also you know have a juice line and other products as well uh, but it's a collaboration between District 5 and the Mystery Mod Company the company that brought to you the design of the Pi 2 RDA okay now this is probably right now the most sought after RDAs on the market period Okay, it came out with the release and the batch one sold out, instantly sold out. Okay, and it's uh, it's shipping on December 12th. So, um, yeah, so this is basically shipping out on December 12th, which today is, in fact, December 12th. So batch one is gone okay uh batch two is already being made in the process there's a pre-order uh it's available to ship on january 5th okay now these rdas they come in a black which is priced at 70 dollars, and they have a stainless steel which is priced at 65 dollars. not bad for an authentic rda i gotta tell you this is a 24 karat gold plated deck postless deck and it's got grub screws, but my favorite, flathead grub screws. And they're not tiny little grub screws. They're big, beefy fucking flathead screws, which is great. Because for me, that is my favorite type of screw to wrench down on a coil. Okay? So I'm really stoked on that. We're going to do some really nice, super up-close video shots in this video. And I also, um, I'm going to include some illustrations... Uh, pictures from the District 5 website with different kinds of builds on the RDA just so you can see what the RDA would look like with intricate coil builds. Uh, this is a builder's dream, this RDA. And the reason why I say that is because it's 24 millimeter wide. The airflow, uh, the outer airflow control itself, the outer airflow control cap goes to the most very edge of the RDA, which allows you all the building room possible within the deck itself. So this way, if you want to put a monstrous coil in there, you don't have to worry about your cap rubbing on the sides of your coil. I'm like, ah, shit, now i got to take it apart and unwrap a leg, basically. So you don't have to do that. You could put pretty big builds in here and utilize all the way up to, like, 23 millimeters of space, which is great, okay? Um... You don't need a whole lot of cotton for this, which is also nice. Uh, there's the way I have my coil set up. I got my coil set up high. I like my coil set up high on this simply because where the airflow is, the airflow is passing under the coils and coming straight up. Okay, so I build my coils high on this RDA because if I look through my airflow hole. I could see right through to the other side and nothing obstructing it. So I know that air is passing directly beneath the coils and up through the center, which gives me the most maximum amount of vapor and it retains a high volume of flavor, even with it wide open, simply based on the fact that the conical shaped design of the cap and um, also the drip tips that they have with this device offer a good amount of restriction to the point that you could vape this wide open. You don't have to go with a super tight airflow. You can still get tons of vapor and tons of flavor, which is nice to have that on an RDA, okay? To have those options work in both directions is great. I'm gonna take a quick drag. It chucks. And the flavor I'm getting from the juice I'm vaping on, currently I'm vaping on ice cream sandwich. This is actually ice cream fun witch. It's a glazed donut smacked with uh, strawberry ice cream in the center. So smack two donuts together with strawberry ice cream in the center, and that's what you get. You get a strawberry ice cream fun witch. 
This juice is made by a company that I happen to love a lot. I recently seen them at ECC and I was so stoked to meet the owner of the company. It's this company right here, Vape Delights. They make really nice desserty flavors and they also have a favorite of mine, which is this Filipino lychee. Okay, Filipino lychee is different from other type of lychees that I come across. This shit is really, really good. And we're going to use this on the on the build portion of this video, and I'm going to end off with it. So currently I have a squidude, uh, squidude coil set up in here now, but in the course of this video, I'm going to swap out and so forth and so forth. But um, yeah, for now, I'm really, really digging this ice cream fun, which it's really good. Flavor is just insane, and the cloud production is just ridiculous. I mean, obviously, cloud production is solely based on the build that you put in here. So, if you are gonna vape super sub ohm or just sub ohm builds, be sure you're using a quality high drain battery. I prefer Samsung 25Rs, whether they're the blue ones or the green ones. To me, they pulse nicely even when the battery is low if you're at a 3.2 volts the pulse on that battery is still very consistent across the board so it's it's a very good battery to use it's just as the battery starts to drain and lose its life be sure to remove the battery and replace it otherwise you're going to destroy your batteries they won't recharge as well or as good as they did before now moving forward with this up close and review so let's get on this right now So this is the packaging that the Cosmonaut comes in. It comes in this nice little uh, side scrolling sleeve. On the front it has a blackened image of the logo of the Cosmonaut. On the opposite side there's another logo and it says a collaboration between Cosmonauts, District 5, and Mystery Mod Company. Inside cover says launching you to outer space with a picture of the moon. Pretty interesting. This is our RDA as it comes in the packaging, but with mine, I got extra pieces as well. I got the um, wide board Delrin in a different type of color. So it has like this uh, goldish orange, transparent orange type of color to it, which I think is pretty cool. Once again, that orange translucent orange going into a gold top with a flavor chasing design to it uh these inlets right here they, they're not air flows on the sides of the top um, what they are is just more room for flavor chasing for a better flavor chase Single O-ring, 24 karat gold plated as well. It's a very nice design for those of you who are looking to flavor chase with a hot build. This would be the top cap to get. Beautifully machined. They did such an awesome job with the machining and the polishing and the plating. I don't see any defects anywhere. The Cosmonaut logo is pretty cool actually. You got like an astronaut with a skeletal face inside of that uh, space suit. And you see there's a rocket passing around his face. Uh, it's, it's a pretty cool logo. I actually like the engraving, it's really nice. Um, you know, at first I was staring at it for a bit and I couldn't figure out what it was. But then once I looked at it up close, you could see that it's an actual cosmonaut. So that's pretty cool. Cylonic horizontal airflow, done a little differently. You know, instead of just making it perfectly uh, oval with round corners, they just basically cut into the airflow control cap and left those flat markings there, which I like that a lot. That's pretty cool. Then we have the Cosmonaut. Simple, basic, small. No need to put a gigantic name across an outer airflow control. I really do appreciate that. You know, simplistic is, uh, is a good way to go. Less is more. You know, 
The upper portion of the inner airflow control, you'll see there is a etched uh, District 5 and Mystery Mod Company uh, etching up top. It's a 14 millimeter wide drip tip accessory top portion with the single o-ring in place kind of like the goon kind of like the kennedy kind of like all these other all these rdas that accommodate these kennedy style wide board drip tips up top so any kennedy style or goon style drip tip will fit in this rda it goes in nice and easy and it has a good firm hold the o-ring is pretty solid up top so it sits in there perfectly sits in there nicely inner airflow control will also have one o-ring at the top it's a beefy sized o-ring up top and this inner airflow control will accommodate dual airflow design as well as single airflow design. So you can do a single coil with a dual coil. The inner portion of this inner airflow control does have a very nice conical shape at the top. You know, so, I mean, you can still cloud chase with this and receive a nice good amount of flavor. I wanted to give you guys the opportunity to check out the matte black version as well. It still carries over the nice engraving of the cosmonaut with the rocket flying around his head. Once again, the very nice Cylonic, uh, but flattened out horizontal Cylonic airflow. I'm sure a lot of you are staring at this top section right here, wondering what this is and what can it be and what does it do? This is kind of like what I believe is like a heat shield to separate the heat from the airflow control, the outer airflow control cap from the drip tip area. This is just my belief of what they did here. Aesthetically, it looks pretty cool to have that space there, but I also believe this space is here simply to separate the amount of heat that's traveling from the outer airflow control from the hot build that will be residing inside of it from the drip tip area to keep that heat different and keep it separate from each other. So they, I think they just simply just separated this to keep the heat away from each other. The inner airflow control moves pretty gracefully. I'm sure once there's juice on the O-ring, it will move quicker. On the other portion of the RDA, you can see it says Article Cosmonaut Version 1, Number 74. On this side of the bottom portion of the RDA, you'll see it says District 5 uh, with an X, which basically means, you know, collaborated with um, Mystery Mod Company in 2016. I'd like to thank District 5 for doing something that I really, really appreciate, and that is including flathead grub screws. That's right. Flathead screws, because you can wrench down on your big coils and not have to worry about stripping an Allen key and getting it stuck in there. So thank you so much for incorporating the flathead screw. It means more to me than anything else in the world. The machining on the metal is absolutely flawless. The threading is absolutely flawless. I would say that this RDA does not have an adjustable pin, mainly for the reason that once you loosen this pin, you're going to loosen your positive block on your building deck. And I don't think that's a wise thing to do. So I'm going to have to say that this does not have an adjustable pin. It does have a removable pin, but not an adjustable one.
So there you have it. We did the up closes. We did everything we needed to do to make this thing perform at its utmost peak. You know, I got a super sub ohm build on here, like I said in the beginning of this video, not to replicate what I do, basically. Don't replicate what I do. Do whatever you want to do. Vape however your style of vaping is, okay? Don't take this video as a recommendation to build something, you know? But I'm really, really digging the lychee um, e-liquid from Vape Delights. It's their R-Hype uh, or Ripe, R-H-Y-P-E. It's their Ripe line. So it's a really good Filipino lychee. It's a little different than your average lychee, and it's sweet. So it's got a nice, well-balanced flavor. And throwing that liquid in this RDA, it's a million times better, okay? So definitely check out Vape Delights if you're looking for a good, different kind of lychee flavor, okay? Uh, as far as this RDA goes, I mean, shit, this is the most sought-after RDA in the market right now. 24 millimeter comes in matte black or stainless steel. It's postless, four millimeter uh, lead inserts. So basically you have a four millimeter hole to put your coil legs into. Uh, 24 karat gold plated. I'm unsure whether or not the device is stainless steel and it's 24 karat gold plated or if it's copper and it's stainless uh, and it's 24 karat gold plated. Uh, I can't really find anything online describing that i'm under the assumption that it's most likely stainless steel uh gold 24 karat gold plated stainless steel that's my assumption though uh as far as conductivity it is very conductive very powerful very strong the flathead grub screws that are on here you could wrench them down nice and tight just be sure you don't use a really wide screwdriver otherwise you're going to strip the inner threads of your post or, or of your base where the posts are, are supposed to be basically uh but it is postless and the pin the positive pin on here is a 24 karat gold plated copper so it's a it's a copper pin that's 24 karat gold plated can't beat that very very conductive right off the bat right there as soon as i hit the button boom it just starts heating the coils granted the coil that i have on here the six wrap does require a little bit more than 4.2 volts or 3.6 volts with the voltage drop that I got going on. But it does require more voltage to ramp it up quick. But I don't mind the gradual process of heating up these coils. So I hit my button. It's not an instantaneous cook and it's not the RDA's fault. It's the build that I have in here. Had I had a three wire fuse clapped in that's only four wraps and I hit this button, I'd be at 0 0.04 or 0 0.02, and it would be really instantly vaping really hot. But because the amount of wire that's put on here, I need a higher voltage to ramp up the coil. Now, most regulated devices don't work with these kind of coils unless the whole coil is stainless steel and the device runs on stainless steel temp control. So, you know, it's putting a certain build in an RDA really is... A difference, you know, I, if I put this on a regulated device that can fire stainless steel, then this will work fine at 0 0.07, no problem. I could probably vape it at 185 or 175 watts, whereas on a mechanical tube mod, it requires a slight ramp up. So as soon as you hit that button, there was like a two second delay there before it started glowing the coils because it requires more volts to ramp it up but that once again is simply based on my coil build that i have okay had i had a regulated device that fires really low i'll get those coils ramped up like that okay uh, as far as accessories for this device you can get devrin drip tip you get two sets of screws and you get two sets of o-rings okay so those are the accessories that come with this rda all right uh you can buy separately the gold plated uh yellow or goldish orange delrin cap this is like their chuff cap style that just fits right on the top you will not be able to adjust airflow with this you just simply slam this cap on there and that's it or if you want to incorporate any of the other caps that district 5 makes like the summit or the chubby or this or that or whatever they shall they shall accommodate and they will work so this is how it looks with my brass chubby cap this is how it looks with my red cupcake chubby cap, okay? 
you're able to build a super, super hot build, and having that Delrin up top being all Delrin, at that point, there's no heat that hits your lips, so that's even better, okay? And the Copper Cupcake. This is the Chubby Copper one as well. So it actually looks good with the V-God um, Mechanical Tube mod, but unfortunately, I wore off the top portion of my Mechanical mod right here, where the uh, Cerakoting is on this V-God mod. It's a $90 mod, you know, shit happens, you know, it is what it is, but who gives a fuck? Still looks pretty fucking tits to me, you know? Hmm. Dope. So from me to YouTube, peace out, like, comment, and subscribe. Hopefully this video was helpful. Hopefully it gave you guys a little direction on deciding whether or not you want to pick up this RDA or not. I am really, really digging this RDA. I'm really happy it came my way. Uh, I got the stainless steel and the black, so I'm very fortunate. And I got the extra caps that it comes with, whether it's the Delrin cap or this gold-plated uh, flavor-chasing cap, whatever the case may be. But it is a great RDA, and I highly suggest people to pick it up. That's it. So from YouTube, peace out. Like, comment, and subscribe. I'm out. Laters.